Now let's talk about the extraction of iron and the oxides. Extraction of iron from its oxide. The oxide ores of iron after concentration through calcination, roasting is nothing but to remove the water, to decompose carbonates and to oxidize sulphides or mixed with the limestone and coke and fit into a blast furnace. So ore plus limestone and coke are fit into the blast furnace from its top. Here the oxide is reduced to the metal. Thermodynamics helps us to understand how coke reduces the oxide and why this furniture is chosen. The main reduction is this one. You got your iron oxide which reacts with carbon to give iron and carbon monoxide. It can be seen as a couple of two simpler reactions in one, the reduction of iron oxide taking place. So you got your iron oxide reacts with iron, it will give iron and oxygen. So the delta G is nothing but your Gibbs energy is FeO comma Fe. Over here you got a carbon. So carbon is being oxidized to become carbon monoxide. You able to see delta G, carbon, carbon monoxide. When both the reactions take place to yield, the net Gibbs energy becomes delta G of carbon, carbon monoxide, this one plus this one. That is equal to delta R into G. So resultant reactions will take place when the right hand side is negative. So the delta G versus T plot are representing the plot goes upwards and that represents the change of carbon to carbon dioxide. You are able to see it here and carbon to carbon monoxide here. It goes downwards. A temperature above 1073 Kelvin. Here. The carbon and carbon monoxide line comes below the iron. You are able to see it here, this one. Fe and FeO. So the line delta G of carbon carbon monoxide will be lesser than the iron and iron oxide at 1073 Kelvin. So in this range coke will be reducing the iron oxide and will itself be oxidized to carbon monoxide in this range. In a similar way the reduction of Fe3O4 Iron 2 or 3 oxide and Fe2 O3 at relatively lower temperatures by carbon monoxide can be explained on the basis of lower lying points of intersection of their curves with carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide curves. So in the blast furnace a reduction of Iron oxides take place in different temperature. A hot air is blown from the bottom of the surface and bottom of furnace and coke is burned to give a temperature up to 2200 Kelvin in the lower portion itself. The burning of coke therefore supplies most of the air heat required in the process. The carbon monoxide and heat moves up towards the top of the furnace. In upper part the temperature is lower and the iron oxides like Fe2O3 and Fe3O4 coming from the top are reduced in steps 
to FeO. You are able to see Fe2O3 plus carbon monoxide will become Fe3O4 and Fe3O4 plus carbon monoxide will become FeO here. And you got your limestone here and calcium oxide and silica will become calcium silicate or silage or slag and you got your FeO. FeO mixed with the carbon monoxide become iron here. So this is how you will be getting your iron. The reduction reaction takes place in the lower temperature range and in the higher temperature range. Depends on the points of corresponding intersection in the delta R G T ta versus T plots. These reactions can be summarized as follows. You are able to see the Fe2O3 plus carbon monoxide will give Fe3O4 plus carbon dioxide. And here Fe3O4 with carbon monoxide it will give iron and carbon dioxide maybe R. You are able to see your Fe2O3 plus carbon monoxide may give FeO. So this will give this one or this one. So this is the reaction.